Congress and the rest of the ministers. Amen. And all of you wonderful people in town. Amen. 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 You don't be traveling from far, right? Amen. 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 It's very cold outside, but that, that didn't um, stop me. I couldn't stop me from coming up. Amen. 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 I was here maybe three times this year. Amen. For the D. Amen. Came up and he sees over there playing the, the keyboard. Deacon Owens is here also here with, with us. Amen. One thing tonight I noticed that um, sometimes we. Uh, I came in and the, the, the service was going on. I could feel the anointing of God. Amen. Amen. But because we used to the, the, the sun floor and the, the projector and everything, I went over there trying to get it on. <laughs> because my dear Amen's sister, she was up here singing away. Yes, it was yes. so beautiful. Amen. Yes, amen. And all that time I, I was there and I was trying to get the thing on, but I felt the anointing of God. And I, I wanted to take my mind to just turn it off and just mm -hmm. come on and join. Yes. Yes. There was a came in. Because you see, a service is worship should be um, spontaneous. Amen. Amen. It shouldn't be a program thing. No. Amen. I came in, it was pretty early, but she was here singing away. Amen. And you all were worshiping. Amen. You weren't waiting on anybody. Amen. Amen. And, and that's the way it should be. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 And as I said, I came in as a customer thing to see the song on the board. Yes. So I went over there and I felt the anointing of God on one mind to turn it off yes. and join them. Amen. Amen. And I came down here and the songs were beautiful. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Uh, it's not my custom to deal with the scripture as uh, a priest speaker to the preacher. Because sometimes we can go up there and say what the preacher is going to say. You know, and the preacher has to go into a, a little way by saying, sing them all while they have wonderful words of life. Amen. We praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes we hear so many preachers preaching and the scripture and the preacher and the preacher. Yeah. But I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Our sister put it right. Yeah. But there's one little verse from the scripture. Yeah. Put on the whole arm. Yeah. You see, what Paul was saying to them, because the Ephesian um, and, and city are the Ephesian people, um, it was a part of the Roman Empire. Yeah. They used to see the Roman uh, soldiers dressed in the full armor. Amen? Amen. A soldier going to war has to be dressed in the full armor. Yes. You can't go to war and you leave what your breastplate. No. The, bless, the breastplate of righteousness. Amen. And if you notice, the soldiers, the Romans usually wear a dress you call it, like a togo. But instead of the togo, the, 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 the warriors and the soldiers in the Roman army, they usually wear a breastplate. Yeah. Make a breastplate or a leather breastplate. Amen? Yeah. And the shoes has to be right. Yeah. They can't go to um, uh, war in sandals, I think. No. They can't run in sandals. They have a proper shoe. And, and the sword or the staff are the helmet. Yeah. The helmet of salvation. Amen? Yeah. And the lion girded the truth. Yeah. Because yeah. most people don't realize that the lion is most the most important part yeah. of the body. Yeah. Yeah. That's what um, holds your, your leg back yeah. yeah. into shape. And if you have back pain, you can't do much. Yeah. If you have side pain, you can't do much. Yeah. So you need to put down the whole arm. Many of us have gone to war without and we fully clothed spiritually as a sister said. Principalities and powers being kings and princes. And then the government and everybody put together. But let me say this and take my seat. We've got to be fully clothed spiritually. I've fought some battles and maybe, maybe some of us inside the building are fighting some battles that we just don't understand. But in the spiritual way, we can see things. Come on. And we know what we are fighting. Yeah. When I took him um, a couple of years ago, I knew it was a spiritual battle. So therefore, I fought and fought, and I know that my God is a conqueror. Yeah. I'm also a conqueror. Yeah. The Romans have used to conquer, to conquer, right? Yeah. So the word conqueror was one of their main words in their vocabulary. We yeah. as Christians, we are more than conquerors. Yeah. To, to Christ, yeah. that love us. Um, about um, 
20 to 6, and I'm reaching about half 7, right? Yeah. So I'm coming from a long island in this town. But God bless you, and I love you all here. I want you to understand. When I see you, pray for me.
and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, those three men of God, young men, when they heard of the decree and they realized what they had, they didn't want for cover. They stood their ground. That's what it means to stand in the evil. This is what they did. They made a pledge. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is ever. Is anything to have for the Lord? Genesis 18 14. Luke 1 47. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And He will deliver us out of the hand. But just a minute. God reserved the right to do a reason. Yeah. Yeah. He can take you out of it. He can live in there. Yeah. But what he does, he does right. Yeah. God makes no mistake. No. No. But if not, he says, be it known unto you, O king, yes. that we will not serve you. Yes. Standing in the evil yes. day. Yes. Brethren, we won't be the first, and we won't be the last. Many have gone on before. Taking the stand for God. Yes, Let us take courage, brother. Mm -hmm. Standing in the evening. Yes, after we have done all. Yes, after yes, we have sung. Yes, and after we have prayed. Yes, after we have been faithful. Yes, after we have done all we are supposed to do. Yes, stand. Yes, finally. Yes, finally. What it means to stand. It means standing. Even though you got a few stones on it. Even though you have two words to you, you stand and you come out like gold. God bless you.